Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages that Sagittarius need to hear today. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, I'm going to start with, for those of you, if this is something to do with your career or money, okay, the sun here and up first. If you've been really, really unhappy with, with where you're at right now financially or career-wise, feels like there's a shift. It's going to change because the Nine of Pentacles is right here and the change is for the better. I see you getting paid more um some of you getting a race getting some sort of recognition because the nine of pentacles is somebody who has achieved a lot or to me this is just an indication that you will be achieving more than before you're gonna be happier so the sun being in reverse meaning perhaps you are not happy right now or we're not happy in the past um just don't don't take the timing too literally okay um just take just go go with the flow okay take what resonates with you but the eight of wands it feels like it's a shift it's a change and six of swords also indicates there is a change some sort of movement moving forward and with the ten of swords here an ending of something that in your past that you've been really unhappy about and i feel like for a lot of you you are making a decision or has already made a decision to move forward to make these changes and the emperor here in reverse for those of you if you worked with certain people or it could be a boss that you may not get along with i see that ending that relationship with your boss ending mm. if you have your own business i feel like the emperor in reverse can indicate you leaving a past business and starting a new business okay or leaving a past leaving a job and then starting a, a business on your own with the nine of pentacles here if not it's a new if it's a new job i feel like this new job is going to give you much more independence um give you much more power with the queen of swords here the queen of swords is definitely uh, a boss for me because she's intelligent she is very experienced and with the strength card here, people will have to be very careful with their words with you. They're going to do the best that they can to not step on your toe and be nice to you and be very diplomatic, be, be very tactful when they speak with you. So to me, this role here indicates that you're going to be in a position where, you know, people are going to be respecting you or afraid to say the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing. Um, because they know that you are no BS here with the Queen of Swords because maybe your position is higher than theirs. If this is something to do with your career and your finances, okay, Sag? But uh, for those of you, Sag, if you're single, Nine of Pentacles here, I see um, perhaps today or tomorrow in the near future, um, Eight of Wands, I see you speaking with a lot of people, having conversations with uh, multiple people, Especially if, if you are active on like dating apps and we've got these six of swords here. You may also be talking with somebody who lives far away from you. Um, somebody of a different ethnicity. I see a lot of heart to heart conversations with the ten of swords here. Somebody may tell you or you may tell somebody about your past. Uh, things that may have hurt you uh, or that this person may be telling you about things that may have hurt them in the past their past could have something to do with a lot of unhappiness uh, some sort of a failure or people treating them unfairly with the emperor here in reverse take having taken advantage of them i don't know who this person is but you may be hearing from this person telling you about you know their past that have been maybe very tragic uh, or it could be you telling somebody about your past that may have been really tragic either or it could go vice versa here, okay? This person could be an Aries, could also be a Leo 
with the strength card you could also be a libra gemini chris or virgo capricorn taurus can be any sign okay let's see more i'm also seeing a lot of you sad just moving away um uh, moving away from someone walking away from someone and you could probably feel much you could maybe right now for those of you who've already walked away from someone you may be feeling much better on your own being single you have much more control of your life and you're not going to waste your time with anybody that doesn't serve your highest good people who are going to be wasting your time because you're very experienced and you know what you want and you know what you don't want um, but if you don't know what you want or if you don't know what you don't want, Spirit's Grace saying that, you know, look back into your past and learn from your past experiences, then you will know uh, better, okay? Mm, see, Eight of Pentacles, for those of you, when it comes to work, I do see you working really, really hard right now. Seven of Wands, you're defending your position in a company or defend or trying to just save a lot of money. Uh, you may be protecting yourself from um external things um external or internal influences that may sway you from not being able to focus on your work or for some of you this is what's going to be happening in the near future where you're just gonna put your head down and work really 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 hard because that's something that you're fighting for could be you fighting to make more money or fighting for your position in a company or fighting for your business and we've got the, again, Knight of Pentacles, another hardworking energy here. So I see you working really hard or will be working really, really hard in the near future, okay? And the lover is here in reverse. Perhaps your work has a lot of responsibilities and some of you may be raking in extra hours or putting in extra hours, working double shifts. That's for some of you. But I feel like eventually it's going to be all worth it because the Ace of Swords indicates success. So you successfully achieve what you want to achieve if you continue doing what you've been doing. Mm, just basically focusing on your work and making sure that you're disciplined and follow through everything. I feel like, again, there is going to be... Um, you're going to feel good eventually. Um, you may never have to do... It feels a bit like such. It's like, let me do this. Let me focus on this for like a certain period of time. And then once it takes off, then I don't have to work as much. Or once I've saved enough money, then maybe I can change my job. Or maybe then I can relax a bit more. It feels like that, right? And we've got the Queen of Wands, which is you. And we've got the Two of Swords here in round first. Does not matter? Again, King or Queen is not gender specific. You see how it's like so hard working. And some of you, you have to be very patient as well with people around you. Uh, you may feel like you, you need to, you know, bite your tongue a little bit, tread carefully. Um, you may be dealing with very difficult people around you uh, at work. And I do see that paying off eventually. Your patience is going to pay off. And I feel like with the Queen of Wands here, eventually, you know, you're just going to relax a bit more. And being able to do what you're more passionate about, what you really desire to do. Um, again, I feel like Sag is like um, this energy, like, let me let me hang in there. It's like, let me hang in there. Let me be patient. Let me work really hard or let me focus on this thing for like a certain period of time. And then after that, I can do whatever I want with the Queen of Wands here, right? Being able to take actions towards something that you're more passionate about. Um, take actions towards something else. And Two of Swords here and Love First. Yeah, it's a very, very conscious decision. Uh, if that's not what you're doing right now, Satch Spirits could be telling you that perhaps you need to focus on something right now, especially when it comes to your work or your finances. Uh, focus on it first. It's like... Uh, it's hard now, but it's going to be easier later. Hope that makes sense to you. Uh, if this has something to do with love, Saj, I do see one person here being very... Uh, this person is attracted to you. Attracted to your maybe stability or your honesty. Attracted to the way you look. Um, attracted to your charm or how driven you are. Mm. I see this person actually valuing you sees value in you because of 
of how reliable you are, okay? Some of it is, I don't know, it feels like it could be a boss or it could be your dad telling you that they're proud of you. It feels like that with a strength card here. Or it could be somebody whom you could be romantically connected with currently. I see this person feeling proud of you because the strength can be a bit of a proud energy because she's like, you know, it's like, hey, I'm so proud of you for being so good, for listening, for doing what you're supposed to do because it's also taming the beast here, right? The angel is taming the beast here. So something that you have to endure in your life that I feel someone will express to you how proud they are towards you and also again this could be a romantic person a romantic potential romantic partner or could be somebody you're current, currently connected to um i feel like this person is going to see your value and your worth because they see how strong you are how much work you put into either the connection or how much work you put into your career um like they respect you for that right i do see this person uh, finding you to be super attractive with the Queen of Wands here. And no doubt, they know you are the one for them. If there's no somebody right now, it could be someone in the near future coming in who's going to appreciate you for who you are and find you really attractive because of your values or your hard work or uh, how strong you are. It could be your inner strength or outer strength. Outer strength could also be the way you look. Uh, perhaps how good looking you are because you may have some muscles so that you'll seem fit or you look fit, okay? But Ace of Swords here indicates a new beginning. Again, I feel like Aquarius, a lot of you are starting a new beginning or planning to start a new beginning here. And you're going to feel so good about this new beginning. Leaving behind uh, somebody or something or career that just doesn't motivate you anymore. That doesn't inspire you anymore. All right, Satch, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape or form. If you did, please hit like, share and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now the first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel check it out if you want to and the second playlist is from this channel has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs for different topics different questions but these readings are still new i post them every single day so they're still relevant hope to see you back here again tomorrow take care such bye